good, Backyard Barbecuers and Barbecuettes. This your boy, Mr. B from Backyard Barbecue, and we are back. Uh, just got back from Vegas. Well, California, Vegas, Arizona. Uh, got a video with my uncle in it, so be on the lookout for that. That'll be well in the future when I show you that one, because right now I'm more concerned with this barbecue contest coming up. September 8th and 9th. But first, let me give you an update, man. The original people, like when I was telling you all we were entering contests, let me tell you some, we got some, I ain't gonna say bad news, but they threw a monkey wrench in the plan, right? You know, I was all excited about, you know, the tournament coming up. We was prepping and stuff like that, doing cooks almost every day. I uh, got my uh, Kamado going right now. Uh, where well, it's light, lighting right now behind you. Um, I'll show y'all that in a little bit, uh, what I'm doing. But they called us and they told us that the event for whatever reason has been postponed until January. That threw a monkey wrench into plans because you know we were all excited about you know getting prepped up and cooking and stuff like that. But however, what he did do was say, hey, there's another event going on about an hour away. So in a nutshell, two hours from here. So uh he gave us the information, we applied for it uh, a couple days ago. Hopefully we hear back from him and uh hopefully we get in and get a seat. Got my boy Myron on the hook uh, uh, to go down too, so we can have a three-man team, um, and we're gonna see what it do, man. We're gonna see what we do. Hopefully they get us in. Well, first let me say that. But still, we still gonna practice so we can be prepped for this. Um, that's the first news I wanted to give you. I found out uh, last week, but obviously in uploading the videos, you know, I didn't. I do them like once a week. So here we are. So without further ado, we still practicing. Hopefully I get some good news in the next week. And then uh, we can go from there and uh, show up in Orlando and uh, knock them down there, y'all. But anyway, uh, I'm going to show you what we, we got going on here in a little bit, so stay tuned. All I'm doing today is just cooking some boneless, skinless chicken thighs. I want to see how they perform in the, uh, the uh, what do you call it, the muffin pan. I got the giant muffin pans. I'm going to try that just to see if I can uh, get these, these uh, so-called thighs to fit inside the muffin pan and form up properly. They don't have any skin on them, so I'm not, you know, worried about crisping up skin today. Still trying to find that flavor profile. I think we got it. Uh, well, I think I got mine. Because all we're going to do is present them to each other, the three of us, and whoever got the best flavor, that's what we're rolling with, y'all. It's called a team. You know, ain't, ain't, ain't no leading this. We all doing this for fun, man. We all experiencing this for the first time. And uh, everybody's advice is warranted, so... I take y'all advice. Some of y'all gave me some awesome stuff, uh, checklists out there. Thank you for that. Uh, we still going on with this process. You never know. We might end another one if that doesn't fall through, but we'll see. Uh, so the process still continues, man. We're still trying to perfect this. I thank y'all for y'all responses. Um, keep coming, man. You got new stuff you didn't try it, you mixed up. Hey, I'm willing to try it. Um, try anything, man, because I'm looking for that. Well, two things I'm looking for. I know I can talk forever, but anyway. Two things I'm looking for. I'm looking for a competition taste that's just pow, outstanding. One bite. On the second note, I'm looking for the the best flavor profile for customers, friends, family, etc. You know what I mean? Like somebody said, hey man, can you cook for me? Absolutely hit me up. And bam, I show up and we got that knockout punch. We got something right now, but I'm always consistently looking for you know something better there's always something better there's always somebody better than you you know we don't we hate to admit that but the reality is is if you're not constantly trying to improve yourself hell i can be 90 years old i'm still gonna try to improve myself uh improve myself not prove myself but you get what i'm saying so anyway keep sending your comments um keep telling me about your 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 uh different flavor profiles i don't care what kind of meat it is we'll go buy it and try it um unless you're saying a whole cow i ain't buy the whole cow sorry y'all that just costs too much money. But anyway, um, stay tuned, man. I'm going to show you, give you a quick uh, uh, glimpse of what we got going on. Like I said, I got six of them. I got two trays right now cooking on. Um, got some uh, chicken, boneless, skinless chicken thighs. Bought them from Sam's. They're like 12 bucks for 21 of them. So I got 21 pieces to mess up. So uh, actually, I'm going to eat them anyway, you know, uh, trying to get a little healthy. But I'm going to eat them anyway, but just testing them out to see all uh, the different flavor profiles. So I got two of them flavored differently with six in each pan. And then the other five, what, six, 12, what was that, eight, nine, nine more pieces just going to be sitting on the grill uh, doing their thing. So I got, like I said, 21 pieces. 
And uh, we're just going to put them on there and see what happens, man. This is Mr. B. Trying to find my own perfection. With y'all help, of course. Uh, Smitty. I don't know what he's doing, man. I thought he was going to come up with a channel. Uh, well, I just got back, so I'm going to see where he at with that. And then I, I'll uh, give you the link to that if it's out there. If not, then stay tuned next week. I don't know what he's doing. But, uh, yeah, I'm talking noise to you, Smitty. So you hear me? Get on your job, man. Get your thing, because I'm... I love to talk noise, friendly competition, man. That's what it's all about. Plus, uh, uh, people that work, you know, they just laugh at us all the time because we always talking noise back and forth about who got the best barbecue. So why not give it to y'all, man, so y'all can judge for yourself. Try each one of our different um, ingredients we mix together and then see what you get out of it, and then you can let us know. Uh, but stay tuned for that, like I said. But anyway, it's been about six minutes of me just talking about nonsense. Maybe one minute of good update, but random talking but anyway uh, i'll be back once i put these chicken on and let you see what i got going on stay tuned y'all what's up y'all we back my temps around 400 degrees not really concerned with the temps right now um obviously like i said i'm cooking a uh, boneless skinless uh uh thighs so they're gonna cook pretty fast not gonna be a long cook uh I'm, let me go ahead and show you though i'm doing all this talking Ooh, that's hot. All right, you see I got one on the bottom, one on top. And we're just going for what we know, man. Uh, I'll be back when it's done. You know, ain't no sense in going through all the process of how it works, stuff like that. And then uh, we'll go from there, y'all. I'll show y'all what this final product look like, what it tastes like. Well, I'm going to get, you know, I'm going to be honest with you. If I like it, I'm going to give a thumbs up. If I don't like it, I'm going to be honest with you, tell you. Uh, that's just what I do. You know, sometimes we hit or miss with this. Um, that's why when you find something that works, stick with it. But right now we're just trying stuff, so we're going to see what happens. Anyway, let me close this because uh, if you're looking, guess what, y'all? You ain't cooking. Anyway, we'll be back when it's done. Uh, we'll do a grand finale. Send you on your way, y'all. Hope you enjoy. All right. We back. Uh, let's see what they look like. I already took them out of the uh, muffin pans. Ooh, lined them up as you can see these are the ones that sat by themselves and these are individual like this row here was in a tray and this was in a muffin pan they all look good this one however has more of a crust on it uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get my plate man and put me three of them on now one of each keep them lined up And I'm gonna take this one right here, look kind of tender. Oh man. Go ahead and flip them over. You can see they still juicy. Remember I told you they sat in brine? I mean not brine, um uh, chicken broth. So that's what's keeping them juicy and dry not dried out. Yeah. Now I see what to do. Let them cook in that in that uh chicken broth for a little while. All right, let's see we got them lined up. We're gonna come back. We're gonna taste these. All right, give me a second to uh, put this stuff down and turn the camera around. We'll be right back. Ladies and gentlemen, barbecuers and barbecuettes. Without further ado, we gonna do this taste test, man. Um, see what happens. Like I said, this is the one that was not, and not in nothing, just sitting over the uh, the uh, on the Kamado on the grill grates. These two different flavors, I can tell by the color texture, which is which. And uh, we're gonna try this out, y'all. Let's see here. Let's start with the middle, number two. Ooh, they're hot. I ain't gonna lie, that ain't it, y'all. That ain't it. Uh, let's see here. Plate bending. Let's see here. Real tender. I can eat this all day, right here. Mm. 
let's see what this one about. This one with both of them on there. Maybe this one will uh, just be outstanding. Mmm. Mmm. This it, y'all. This it. The one that I got both seasonings on. This it. I think that's what I'm going to present to the rest of my, uh, my team and uh, uh, the squad. And we're going to see what they say, man. God, dog. Oh. Yeah, hold on. Mm. Oh, one last thing. I did notice, like with the muffin pans, I'm going to tell you, um, the taste of the little the chicken broth that was sitting in there that uh remember I told you all the chicken was sitting in chicken broth for about four hours. So when I put the uh the boneless remember this is boneless skinless thighs. Um my little white meat, but these thighs ain't bad. But anyway, I set them in the in the muffin pan and ironically they were kind of based in their own juices, chicken juice and uh chicken broth. So I was just messing around and I tasted chicken broth that was left in the bottom of the uh, the muffin pan when I took the uh, the uh, leg, I mean the, the thighs out. And that stuff tastes amazing, so I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take this and dab it in that chicken broth and then uh, see what kind of product I get there because I believe that might just be it. That one hit a quitter right there with the chicken broth on top that been sitting in the chicken cooking and then top it off with that, that might just do it, y'all. Check me out, y'all. Just a little bit. Let me know if you ever tried that, man. Hit me up and uh, um, give me some more comments, tips, stuff like that. Maybe a different season, but at least for now, I think this one right here just might. I'm ready to eat this right now. This might do it. Um, hit your boy up. This Mr. B from Backyard Barbecue. Cooking for the competition. Anyway, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share my videos. Holla at your boy.